Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the Xano Developer API key and how to use it. The Xano Developer API key allows you to basically consume the uh, open API documentation slash swagger documentation that Xano auto generates for each of the API groups in any of your Xano workspaces. So let's go ahead and first jump to the account page so we can actually generate that API key. So if I'm in my workspace here, I can actually just click on my name and go to account. On the account page, you'll notice on the right hand side, there is developer access. We give you a link to our documentation uh, where everything that I'm going to talk through is gonna be laid out for you step by step. But you can see we can generate an API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you'll notice there's this message in red. It says, please keep, please, please keep the copy button and store this in a safe place. So the developer API key will not be shown again once you leave this page. So make sure you remember it. Uh, otherwise, if you don't remember it and need to use it, then you can come back here and you can revoke the current developer API key and generate a new one that's unique for you. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this. And I have another tab open for Swagger. And basically, you're going to want to go to this site here uh, without this dev in here. So it's just app.xano.com slash API colon developer. Uh, and this will take you to a Swagger documentation page that looks just like this. And with your developer API key copied, you can go ahead and hit authorize and just paste that in and select authorize. And from this level, we're at the Xano master instance. So what you can do now that you've authenticated is you can actually run this API endpoint, hit execute here in Swagger. And what that's gonna do is it's going to come back with your instances on your account. So any of them that you have access to. Uh, so for example, we have now this token URL here. You can see I belong to quite a few instances. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here, which is what I started with uh, in that workspace. So we have this token URL here. So I can actually copy this and let me just open up a new tab and let's go to uh, this page here. And so there's a few things that we're gonna care about here. First is this auth token, this long auth token in this JSON response. Uh, and then there is a link to this other uh, Swagger documentation. And of course, if you are going about this in an automated way, you might just care about the Swagger spec here, uh, which is given right here. Um, so if I'm gonna go for the point of this tutorial, go to the Swagger page here. Let's go ahead and copy that and I'll open a new tab once again and let's paste this in. And you'll notice this is now at a more granular level within that actual instance that I selected. So we're basically traversing uh, from the Xano master instance to your own instance and then into your workspace. So on this Swagger page, you'll notice there is another authorize um, button here. So like I said, when we go back to that endpoint that we ran, or that URL, I should say, uh, we have this long auth token here. So I'm actually going to copy all of this, make sure I grab that, and come back to Swagger. And we're gonna use that to now authenticate here. We'll go ahead and hit authorize and close. So now uh, on this workspace get right here, what I can do is I can actually hit try out and execute this. And this will show me, um, the different workspaces in the Xano instance uh, that I'm traversing through. So um, this instance, for example, is just a free instance. So I just have one single workspace. So what I'm seeing now are these different API groups. Um, so we can actually consume all the API endpoints in one group uh, if we want to. So for example, um, I might take this swagger spec here uh, for this default API group, let's say. You can see I have two, one's default, one's my first API group. So now if I paste in this Swagger spec here, what we get is the open API slash Swagger documentation for that API group in a YAML file. However, what we can do is we can actually, and this is in our documentation, you can't see my address bar at all, but you can type in a um, basically parameter here, question mark uh, type equals JSON, and you can actually see it right here. So if I just go ahead and select that, now we can actually get this uh, Swagger spec in JSON format, which might be uh, easier or preferred method for a lot of people. Um, so once again, uh, that's how you use the Xano developer API key to consume the API documentation from one of your API groups. 
Uh, this is also laid out in our documentation, but hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you can do some cool things with this new feature.